Hello everyone, uh, welcome to uh, day number two of week one of season five of TPL. Uh, my name's Tanner, or Thrive, and I'll be casting tonight's very late match between Valhalla Ravens and the Silly Squad. Um, it's just me tonight. I'm also producing and observing, so I'm doing the big three all by myself. So just cut me some slack in the chat if you're watching. Um, I know... Uh, been a while since I've cast the TPL, so I might be a little bit rusty. But we're gonna get into it. Um, I believe the teams are already ready in the lobby, so we're gonna speed run right through um, this just so we can get this night over with. So if we're gonna check out the blue division standings, uh, the first match was already played tonight. Uh, the Green Wall getting the first one of the season over the Hong Kong Rebels. Um, if you did not check up on that match, please check our VODs down in the channel and that will be there to be watched a great win from green wall good way to start the season unfortunate for hong kong rebels academy but they're gonna bounce back and have a great season we're known to or we're gonna be hoping at least if we check the first team which is gonna be the silly squad we're gonna have last season's champion teku from i believe it was top drive cc he is returning with his own team this season uh, pairing up with Bless, Ren, Clutter, and Ice Bear. Bless and Teku were on X13, but unfortunately that team did disband. So we're just going to have those two on the team for this season. And if we check out Valhalla Ravens, they are led by quite a roster. We see Gravity from the Lycus Empire finalist team from last season as well. So. Maybe a little bit of a grudge to be held since Deku did take that championship title away from the Lycus team. But they have Smith, Blueberry, GG, Shots, Alurus, Gravity, Azeroth, and two Muffins. That's going to be their roster for the season. I've never seen these guys play other than Gravity, so I'm going to be interested to see how they are going to be playing. And we're going to check up on the map bands here. And it looks like the Silly Squad have banned Skyscraper, Valhalla Ravens have banned Border, Silly Squad have banned Theme Park, Cafe, Bank, Oregon, Villa, and Clubhouse, all banned by each team. And it looks like the deciding map is going to be Chalet with the Silly Squad starting on the fence. So I believe that is going to be it. And we're going to get this game started as soon as possible. Thank you. We're gonna get this game started. It's gonna be the Valhalla Ravens taking on the Silly Squad. Now, I do believe that the two teams on the overlay are mixed up. That is my fault. I apologize. Deal with it. It will uh, be fixed next week or tomorrow. And tonight is just gonna be a very chill cast. I'm not gonna go overboard. So, apologies. It's just really late. And the first band of the matchup is going to be Flores coming out from the Silly Squad.
Lars is a very common ban on Chalet because teams like to play the shield on the top mezzanine and top blue staircase. Ace is going to be our second band coming in from the Valhalla Ravens. Ace is another common band on Chalet. And the Ravens' last band of the matchup is going to be the Wamai, so we're not going to see any top blue Wamai play at all. We're going to solely rely on the Jaeger, get rid of the Burn and the Aruni. Jaeger and Aru or Gigan or Rooney to burn off the utility of the offense. And the last man of the matchup is going to be Kaid. We're going to get things started here on round one. Valhalla Ravens are on the attacking half. Silly Squad on the defense. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attack. Let's see what kind of setup we got going on here. That seems to be pretty default. You have your common rotations onto the master bedroom. You have a shield on the top of the piano. On top of the piano, that is. Doesn't seem to be too ridiculous. Shelly's one of those maps where they broke. You don't have to fix anything, really. Gotta play the map as it is, but it looks like we are gonna be seeing a little bit of a downstairs hold over here in the west main kitchen area. I don't know how heavy the road is gonna be downstairs or the hole. Looks like it could just be a shallow one, just locate and defuse a bomb. Reinforcing that west main area in case of a rush. Looks like Bless is going to get really aggressive here on the window, peeking the open window frame. Is he going to get punished for it? I'm concerned how he did not get spotted there. Bomb located by attackers. Reload! Just going to be holding this top mezzanine position, top main. Reloading, cover me! As the Ravens are going to try to figure out a way to attack. They've spotted out Bless. He's going to hop back down. Over on top blue with Hectic and Teku playing an aggressive hold on IV and top blue. Looks like the Ravens are going to start their push into library. Smith getting on the camp for his team. He's going to spot. He's gonna spot Teku there, and he's also gonna spot the Maestro of Hectic. Looks like they are aware of Bless's position. That is gonna be a nade toss. Not gonna get anything out of it. And Bless is gonna take the first kill of the game. Reloading! Gonna rotate all the way downstairs into Wine. AMP incoming. Off the street is going to get opened up. That's going to leave a line of sight for the attacking team to use. But the other man down. But as I say that, Ice Bear is going to take his, get his head taken off. Shots. Is he going to feel lucky peeking the water? Looks like he is going to take the HP though. On the breach. Hectic gonna go for the swing. Yes, he is. He's gonna take out Smith and it's all down to Gravity. Gravity's gonna take out Hectic, but it is a one versus three. And knowing how aggressive Silly Squad is gonna play this, Gravity's gonna have to hit shots and bless. He's gonna close out the round for his team. Ravens took their time, 
but they just didn't win their gunfights that they needed. Killer Squad may be taking the advantage of their experience of their gunplay and using that to their advantage, taking those aggressive fights and knowing that they have the confidence and Defenders, catching your the Ravens off guard. By. But like a flock, the Ravens just surrounding that off range. There really wasn't much of it going on. We had a guy on the window, but he, he got one kill and then he was not able to do much damage after that. We are going to be going downstairs for round two here. Yeah, nice little cheeky cam coming in from Teku right there. Looks like we are going to have a kitchen, Attackers a little bit of a kitchen hold coming in use. from Ice Bear over here. He's going to get a little cheeky there with the spawn peak. I don't think he's going to get anything of it unless he plays it very patiently. He's gonna peel off of there. A bomb has been located. Meanwhile, the rest of the Ravens decided where to push off, and Gravity is taken out really early. That's the catcher off the board. Maestro with a hectic on that very nice angle on the trench. It's gonna be a very hard angle to attack on the attack. It's gonna be a very hard angle to attack, indeed. The bomb and Hector's is going to get another one from the same angle? No, looks like he just pushed out into wine. Uh, but nope, as I say that, he's going to get a kill from that same exact angle. And he's going to get a third. <laughs> Ice Bear is going to end the round off. Lots of smiley faces coming out in chat. and defuse as many bombs as they can. Not much you can really do when you lose your capture right away. That was a major kill. We're ready for company. Camera feed up and running. Welcome that. That was definitely not a kill that the Halloween wanted to uh, have right away. That's a fairly hard kill. We are going to be going on barking. <laughs> That's a nice little smiley face for the for the viewers. <laughs> oh, I Is he going to go for the spawn peak? Oh, looks like we already have one. As Alluris is going to take some damage. I believe that is Wes up there on the solar window. Just uh, droning the map out, trying to find a way to push in the Ravens are right now. They really need to start getting the picks off the board. But with the mod tank game in play, it looks like we've got Red going on a wild goose chase with the monkey. He's gonna get cut off. Yes, he is, but Smith is not gonna land any shots, unfortunately. And I believe Rin just clipped that for Twitter. So you can see that later tonight on the timeline. Looks like GG easy. Getting shot from the out in the back. Bowler. I do not know what the Ravens are thinking right now. They have to deal with a cross. Shots is going to take out the Is he going to be able to take out Bless? No, he's not. Bless is going to hit the pistol shots. 
It is falling apart. Gravity's gonna land some free fires into the wall. It's not gonna be able to land any though. As Arus is gonna take out Blast. Arus is gonna take out Ren. That is a double kill. And is now back to the 2v2 with health advantage going to the favorite Sony squad. Hectic though, getting really aggressive there. And he's not gonna get rewarded of it. He's gonna get headshotted by Gravity. But that is going to put both players on Valhalla Ravens on one shot HP. All, has to, all Ice Bear has to do is pray and pray, but no, he is going to drop down. And the Ravens are going to get their first round of the matchup tonight. I think uh, Philly squad getting a little silly, you might say, with the uh, peaks and the aggression. Attackers need to locate and defuse. But I don't think that they're playing. I believe they're playing seriously, but I feel like they're having fun. But you can't really, uh, you can't really ever argue with. Not great that fun in teams, especially in the competitive scene. If you're having fun, it's a nice idea. And are we gonna get a nice little, nice little cat ubu face again? Yes, we are. Ice Bear, the artist. Come do graffiti at my house. Ten seconds left. Five seconds to go. Attackers are heading out to defuse a bomb. Now, what kind of shenanigans are the Silly Squad going to set up here inside a big garage? Drones are going to be coming out. They are going to be aware of the vigil, but are they going to be aware of the... Yes, they are. He's going to talk to the facility, but Teku is going to get a kill. Teku is going to get two. Dots is going to immediately refrag that, though. Ravens are opting to strike the shield, but oh my shots. That is not the prettiest nade I've ever seen. Gravity's gonna take out Ren, so it is now a 3v3. have to be aware of the camp can traps they need to drone out they need to find the locations of silly squad members to Gemini. Gemini Ice right. Bear is gonna get taken out by Gravity who has found his way inside the bloodroom Gravity is gonna take out Hectic it is now down to Bless who I believe is far sight yes it is Lefty is going to down gravity. No refrag in sight yet. But Lefty is going to rotate off. He's going to try to find a double kill. No, he's not going to be able to as Aluris. He's going to tie the game up for his team. And the Valhalla Ravens. 2-2 two two now with the Silly Squad. need to locate and defuse bomb. Does? Oh, I just had a little hiccup there. We are going to go into the 
master bedroom offsite again. I do believe that Silly Squad did win this matchup on this site pretty consistently due to their aggressive plays. Um, hopefully the Ravens are up for the aggression though. And they either pay well, try to establish some crossfires, or they counter aggression with their own aggression and just try to out aggression the aggressiveness of the aggressor. Editing that in time in the road. Ice Bear is going to take out Gravity. That Gravity is just not having a great night. He's been first pick, I think, three times now. Very unfortunate from him. Bless is going to take out Shots. Bless is going to take out Smith. And the Ravens cannot even get into the building. Bless is feeling himself right now as he is out of the time of his life right now. He is not going to hit his shots on Alluris, unfortunately. Hectic is going to get some shots in on his own though. GG Easy finding his way all the way inside the library. He is confuzzled on what to do. Kinda hard to play the game when you can't even get inside of the building, it looks like. And this round has gone from action pack to a screeching hole. I think the Ravens are just uh, trying to play for their picks, but also trying to communicate what they're doing wrong in terms of not being able to get into the building. Lurus is going to land some shots on the Ice Bear, but Ice Bear is going to recover. Hector is going to hit some nice shots on the GG. And he is going to go for the run out. Yes, he is. And he is going to get rewarded. Silly Squad up 3 to 2. As more Uwus come into the chat. Protect your bombs from being attacked. Echo shotgun is being pulled out. You don't see that very often in amateur. Are there any other interesting weapon loadouts that I should be? Ella is being played by Ella Siege either. As there is just more viable operators. Changing max. I am seeing some uh objective is to defuse a bomb. Someone call home improvement is hectic doing his best to mount impression, doing some home reconstruction. If anybody gets that reference, you are too old to be watching this stream. <laughs> oh man. Bless is on top of the bathroom. He's trying to get his 56,000 bond peak of the night. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen though. As the Ravens are a little confuzzled on what they should be doing and how they should be going about things. Half of them are not even Inside the building's perimeter, they are just all holding angles outside, waiting for the aggression to come. But said aggression is on the complete other side of the map. I think the Ravens have realized this. Gravity has droned out sight. I think he's saying, I think he's saying, oh, it's all clear.
silence, my uh, family decided, or girlfriend decided to come in and say hi. The Ravens have managed to push their way in though, so it's gonna be GG taking Ren out. Looks like the roam of Silly Squad just not working. They're gonna leave Ice Bear and Bless all them all to themselves. Ice Bear being the only one around the site. It's gonna take a lot of shots though. Bless is gonna have to make a play. Said he is not gonna make a play and he is going to perhaps nope. He's deciding whether or not to go back to site. But well, he has no choice to go back to site now unless he wants to save that 93 KD, 3.0 KD at the time. Oh, and he's gonna take out the bottom. But Shots is gonna take out Blast, so we are tied at the half. Three to three. Some lovely colored words coming out of Bless and chat there. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defended by attackers. I uh, apologize for the colorful language on the street. EPL does not condemn. Uh, uh, what's that word called? Just rolling off the top, rolling off the tip of my tongue. Condone. The girl does not condone talking smack in all chat during a leak game that's being casted. Regardless of how the quality of the cast is. Attacker's objective is to defuse bomb. No, Smith. 0-6 oh, on the alibi. A questionable operator pick. For the KD, at least. At least that's what my ranked teammates told me. Eku's already made his way into the building. He does not care. Is... Eku's gonna get a kill. Yes, he is. Dots is gonna get the first one taken out of the round. Teku gonna get taken out by Smith and the alibi crush begins. He is trapped inside a mudroom though. Gonna slowly make his way out. No, he is still in the hallway. Gonna put some bullets in the ice bear. He's not going to catch the Pokemon. But Alurus is gonna take out Ice Bear for his teammate. Bomb he's, he's getting really aggressive, but he's gonna get taken out almost immediately after he, or immediately after he gets the kill, not almost. Hectic is gonna start getting onto the wall here. Smith is gonna end up bleeding out, so that's gonna leave Gravity and Alurus. Last ones to defend the office site. Recovered the diffuser. Hectic gonna burn the castle barricade with his Maverick torch there. Not a very common use of Maverick. You don't see this very often. Not gonna fully open it up though, but he's gonna open up a line of sight just in case one of the Valhalla Ravens players gets a little greedy on the peaks. But it looks like. Gravity and Alert are having none of it. Gravity's gonna take off Hectic's head though. That's a nice shot coming in from him. They have spawned off left. Three fires coming in. Blast is gonna have to play this once. Directly over the windows. And Allure is getting a little too greedy on the bathroom peak, and it's gonna leave Gravity and Bless in a 1v1. Seconds to go. But Gravity's gonna win the fight.
The Silly Squad playing very loose right now. They're playing... They're, they're not really playing as a team, but kind of playing as a team Defenders at the same time. But they're just getting them. really overly aggressive and not necessarily using that aggression good. Uh, meanwhile, the Valhalla Ravens kind of just do whatever Attack the heck the they want. Uh, I, I guess that's kind of the reading of the room. I don't know how long the Ravens have been team together. I know Gravity has just been a recent acquisition. Five seconds left from insertion. Attackers are moving to defuse the bomb. We are on round eight. The Ravens are going to go to bar game site. Very default setup coming in. If it ain't broke, you don't fix it. Doesn't need fixing to begin with. These are tried and trusted. Tried and trusted rank strats. Hectic, not going to see. Oh! <laughs> Good night, Mr. Smith. Good night, Mr. Shots. I do not know how you messed that up, but they just messed that up. Heku has already made his way inside of the dining room and he's probably killing himself. Gravity, though, he is going to get a kill of his own. Gonna make his way up back to the blue staircase. I believe. Does is he aware though of hectic inside a mudroom? It doesn't seem like it. And this round has suddenly come to a. Nope. Gravity did not know about the guy in the mudroom. Blast is going to take out Alluris and Hectic is going to take out GG rotating out of the mudroom. Playing that round up for his team. you play support Joe I believe that is referencing um, a player by the name of Joe attackers need to locate and there is a bomb. Joe in the community I believe he is staff. Okay. Thank you for up a New feed bag. we're gonna see how uh, the Ravens defend the city again. Unfortunately, Smith hiding in that corner just potatoed all of his shots. And that kind of set the, set the tone for the round. Just a major blunder. Is he going to try to roam downstairs again? Oh, well, looks like he's going to go for a round two. Not the most, not the wisest of choices in my opinion. You don't just want to, you don't want to like play in the same area that you were playing prior. Unpredictable. And speaking of predictable, Eku is on the prowl. Reloading. Taking Gemini for a spin. gonna freak out. <laughs> Smith is gonna actually get rewarded for this. And a little bit of toxicity coming out for his own team. Reloading. I can't tell if I'm casting a ring game or if I'm casting a competitive game, but oh well, this is entertaining as hell. Changing mag. Blast is gonna take out Alurus. Looks like Silly Squad is already taking control of the 
library part, but do they spot the top main, but they don't spot the nitro cell because it's right underneath. Shots is going to make his way all the way back down to main stairs. Ren is going to get a kill with the, the Habana shotgun suppressor. Pokeball attempts coming out. Nothing's going to come of it other than some slight HP damage. An interesting double shield setup on the blue side there. Gravity is going to take out Hectic as well. Gonna weasel his way back all the way to Blue Stairs. And Rin is in sight. He's been spotted up by Gravity. Ice Pair is gonna take out shots. Ice Pair is gonna get down by Smith. Smith is gonna confirm his kill. Ren is going to be drawn now. He's going to spot gravity inside a bar. But he has a bearing knife instead of an assault rifle. But the bearing knife is going to do all the work. 10 seconds left on the board. Ren has to go for the plan. Smith is going to go for the kill. Smith, you need to hurry up. Ren's going to get the plant down. Plant is going to go down. But Smith, just the time, is going to get the kill onto Ren. And he's going to win his team the round. Ravens are going to go up 5 4 against the Silly Squad. Defenders have disabled the bomb defuser. Bomb defusing attempt failed. Defenders win. And it's just the way this map is going, where defenders protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. The Ravens will get a couple kills here and there, and not the Phillies. If the Ravens get the first kill, they typically win the match. If the Phillies caught and get the first kill, they win the round. Well, that's kind of common sense, right? Statistically, aren't you better off getting the first kill? Other round to win it, yeah, kind of common sense, but it doesn't always happen. Swapping mags. Ten seconds left. Camera feet up and running. But five seconds. Silly squad make a silly mistake. They pay for it. If Valhalla Ravens aren't paying attention, they get paid for it. Locate a bomb and defuse it. Attackers bomb defuse it. Common sense. Make a mistake, you're gonna pay for it. Um, that's kind of common in real life too. If you make a mistake in life, you're going to end up paying for it eventually. Looks like that big master window is going to get opened, but nobody's playing Ice Bears all the way on the gazebo. He is not helping his team whatsoever. GG is going to get Ice Bear with a little window peek of his own. Kind of getting a taste of your own medicine. Delka be call has been activated. Ren is all the way downstairs inside a bar. He's way in the main lobby. Looks like the last is up the canine. GG Easy just crowd walking inside a bar. He's gonna take out Ren. Smith is gonna take out Hectic. A little delayed reaction time there from Smith. And it is now a 1v4. And the Ravens are packed up like a pack of sardines. What could possibly go wrong here? Well, it looks like they spread out a little bit.
Plus is gonna make his way up the blue stairs. Is Rita? Yes, he is. A free fire, and he's gonna decapitate Bless. Okay, we are on match point with the Valhalla Ravens. Billy's squad possibly being a little silly. I mean, it's in their name. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. Adding my plus one. If I'm a Ravens player, not the Baltimore Ravens, but a Valhalla Ravens, if I'm one of them, I'm saying, hey guys, can we just sweat it out? Out sweat. If they're gonna start sweating and just get this game over with so we can go to bed. Because I believe it is almost 11 o'clock Eastern Time on the East Coast. I'm from Central, so it's still about. It's still 10 o'clock over here, 10.30 at most. Five seconds to insert. Attacker's objective is to locate a bomb and defuse it. And we're on a kitchen site. Looks like Sens, Sens is making his competitive debut in TPL. I do not believe we saw him last season due to the quarantine period that was removed. Billy Squad taking that top library control, dodging Razor Bloom. Another Razor Shell getting. It's a Razor Shell, not a Razor Bloom. They have not shot the main lobby default cam yet. I'm reloading. Looks like Ice Bear has. Decided to set up both of his hard breach gadgets on the wall. Smith is gonna get down. He is gonna get taken out on the counter flank from Hectic. Hectic is gonna take quite a bit of HP. I think that'd be Alluris behind the master bedroom, taking cover. There's a very nice cam from Ice Bear. Deku is going to take out Gravity with a nice grenade placement though, but Dolly Squad are going to be reading this flank. They know that Rin is downstairs stuck. Or shots, not Rin. Rin is the one peeking. Uh, Rin? A bomb has been located. Guys? Did they just completely forget about the bottom blue player? Uh, that? Or already? Alluris is gonna take out run shot or bless. GG Easy is gonna. This is not looking very good for the silly squad. They're gonna have to barge their way in in order to not even make a match point to stay in the game. But Shots is gonna miss his shots. And it's all down to Alluris. Alluris is gonna get one. Is he gonna get two? Yes, he is. And that's gonna be GG to the Valhalla Ravens. Perhaps the silly squad was a little too silly. Final score is 7 to 4. Congratulations to the Ravens on their first win of the season. Gravity, last season's second place player, topping his team with 12 kills, 7 deaths, 3 assists.
Well, what a game that was. <laughs> um, I'm sorry for the uh, poor casting. I was even able to get some bite, eat. Uh, pizza rolls were pretty good. Um, this normally wouldn't be this way. Um, we were striving for a little bit more professional season. Uh, but, you know, sometimes you got to go back to your roots, have a little bit of fun. Um, it was a very late 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 cast so um what can you do about that i mean i was the only one that was willing to stay up and cast no no dig at the other casters they did a phenomenal job earlier it's just time zones and people want to go to bed and people have work on the weekends but your final score is going As the uh, Omni Academy is going to be taking on Aura, and that's going to be a very fantastic game. That's coming on at 7 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, followed up with Zero Risk Academy playing, I believe it is, if I'm not mistaken. Let me check the schedule. It's going to be App State in their fourth consecutive season, I believe, in TPL. Congrats to them. We appreciate that loyalty. They're going to be taking on Zero Risk Academy tomorrow after the Omni and Aura game. Anyway, guys, my name's Tanner. Peace out. Bye-bye.